welcome back to the channel. In today's instalment, I'll be taking you along on a winter's hike in the northern vales of the Lake District. A route of around 20 kilometres, much of it in deep snow, and taking in seven Wainwright peaks, including one of the highest, Skiddor. So get yourself a drink, get cosy, and I hope you enjoy coming along. The hills and mountains of the Lake District National Park are known locally as Fells, derived from Old Norse. They are also referred to as Wainwrights, named after the famous author and illustrator Alfred Wainwright, who devoted his life to exploring these fowls and beautifully mapping and documenting them and their many routes in his pictorial guides. We begin our routes by wending our way up through forestry tracks. This wood is home to Douglas fir trees, an ancient species that can live for over a thousand years. bird of prey with a bright white underbelly, with the first nest recorded in the Lake District for 150 years, having been previously hunted to extinction in the UK in the 1800s. We soon get sight of Bathenthwaite Lake, which is technically the only lake in the Lake District the others being mares or waters. Bassenthwaite Lake in the neighbouring Dale of Water has held Britain's last vestige for its rarest freshwater fish, Vendis, a relic of the last ice age. pass through white stones, a rocky outcrop of quartz, before continuing to head up the path to Carlside, which will be our second Wainwrights of the day.
So that's the second Wainwright of the day completed, Carl's side. Now we're headed along Long side over to Alec Pike. Then we'll be retracing our steps back across the ridge and then we'll be headed up back over that way. It's not quite as cold up here as anticipated. The wind is very low level. So it's again, another absolutely stunning winter's day. So many of you have said how relaxing you found my videos to be. So thank you for that, because I didn't know what was ahead when I started this little channel, and I had no idea what the feedback would be. I think so often we stop ourselves from trying something new because we don't have the answers. That uncertainty takes hold and we freeze. I always find it's worth reminding myself that, of course I don't know how to do something I've never done before. Of course I won't be very skilled to start with. And of course I won't know what the outcome will be until I've tried. And the only way to find those answers and gain those skills is to go out there and explore. And there's a quote I like that goes, It is not the critic who counts, nor the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least fails or daring greatly so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. Absolutely beautiful ascent. The last section was really quite steep, but the snow was nice and deep. And you can just kick your steps in, and it made it for a really interesting way uh, to do skidor. Doing it in the winter in these conditions, perfect today, absolutely perfect. We've just got a little man to do, and we've got one more. We'll be dropping down to finish. Thank you.
trudge through deep snow to make it to our seventh and final win right of the day and i think i'm going to sign off here because now we've just got a long steady walk back down i really hope that you enjoyed coming along and seeing some of the northern fells let me know in the comments if you have done any of these or if it's something that you're planning on coming up and doing so until next time if you enjoy your adventures whatever they may be and i'll see you on the next one